Hello and welcome back for another adventure in the cookie jar. Today we're making the 20 second recipe from the plum pudding river. It is pineapple cranberry jello salad. So this one is definitely a nod to the Minnesota jello fascination, which I've actually been watching this one lady on TikTok, Minnesota nice lady, making all these like Minnesota salads that aren't really salads with candy and all these weird ingredients. She's pretty fun. If you've seen her, she's pretty awesome. She might have a handle on this pineapple cranberry jello salad, but be that as it may. Um, this does not bake. It does sit in the fridge for at least four hours. So I am making it the night before. What you're going to want is six ounce package raspberry jello. That's the big one. Apparently not the little boxes. I'm having to go back and grab another one one and three quarters cup boiling water, a 16 ounce jellied cranberry sauce. All I could find is the 14, so that's what we're working with. An eight ounce can crushed pineapple, do not drain. I ended up with the little pineapple packs. Um, three quarters cup orange juice, one teaspoon of lemon juice, and half a cup of chopped walnuts. What you're gonna do is you're gonna make the jello with the boiling water, and then you're gonna add the cranberry sauce until it's well blended the pineapple with the juice, orange juice, lemon juice, and then walnuts, dump it into a ring mold, which we are going to reuse this guy from the pineapple jello fluff monstrosity we made before. And then it says refrigerate until firm. It should take about four hours, but you can make it the night before your dinner and keep it in the refrigerator until you're ready to unmold it and serve it. Andrea got this recipe from Sally Kate's. So, we all know Andrea is the Jello queen with her Jello cakes and everything else because they don't actually have to make. It's, I remember right in the book she bought a store bought cake and poured Jello into it, but that's a separate issue. So let's get started with this. I don't think it should take very long to mix up. And this is what we're working with for this video. So we're going to take a bowl in our Jello as well as the hot water. It says to mix this for at least thirty seconds or until it's dissolved. All right, to this, we add the jello. And to the jello, we add the cranberry sauce. Which I'm not quite sure how these two are going to knit. Is it supposed to be cut up? Is it supposed to be chunky? Is the hot water supposed to melt the cranberry gelatin? Am I supposed to whisk it in so that it's... I, I, I'm not quite sure what I'm, what consistency I'm going for. It just is well mixed. Maybe it's well blended? Until well blended. Huh. I don't know about that. I'm kind of thinking I should have done this in a glass bowl so I could see what I was working with. I think it's melting in, or at the very least, it's chomping, chomping up into smaller bits. I have no idea what is happening. I, I don't even—I don't know what I'm going for. I don't know what I'm looking for. I don't know what's happening inside this bowl. But it feels smooth, so I guess we're adding everything else in now. So these are four-ounce cups of pineapple. So that's four ounces. And eight ounces, the orange juice, the lemon juice, and the walnuts. I swear this is the strangest assortment of ingredients I have ever thrown together. Mix it all together and pour into your mold. This is what we have. <laughs> it is the weirdest mix of stuff I think I've ever put together on this channel. I'm just gonna cover this up, pop it in the fridge, and we'll see what we get tomorrow morning. Here's what we have. It is the next morning. It is set. Got some jiggle. I'm gonna dump it, or I'm gonna dunk it, into this pan of hot water, so hopefully it'll loosen the sides and we could just flip it out. It kind of worked and kind of didn't work. This is what we have now. 
So this is definitely one of the stranger things that I've made. Um, I have no idea what this is gonna taste like. It's kind of Thanksgiving-ish. It's kind of ocean spray crayon raspberry drink. The pineapple and the walnuts are really strange. They give it an odd texture. The walnuts are not mushy. I figured they, after sitting in the jello all night, they'd be weird consistency, but they're still kind of crunchy. I'm not a fan of this personally, just because I don't really like cranberry and raspberry together outside of it. I mean, I've never, I don't know. It's not my cup of tea. It's very tart. I definitely feel like it needs some turkey to go with it. But, I mean, if putting weird things in jello is your bit, I, I guess, yay. Personally, give me like some ambrosia salad or something any day, but I don't know. The cranberry and the orange juice and the lemon juice with the walnuts in it and the pineapple is just kind of weird. Next week we are doing cranberry scones. I don't think I've ever made a scone before so that should be interesting to watch. <laughs> if you want to see that join us next week. I hope you all have a good one. Bye!